Hello and welcome to today's talk about uh, homeopathy and especially about homeopathic approach in uh, a very difficult disorder multiple sclerosis. First let's try to understand what is multiple sclerosis. It's uh, basically a demyelinating disease um, especially where the nerve cells are affected, the brain and spinal cord is affected. And typically there can be many neurological symptoms, many physical and mental symptoms as well. Uh, you can also call it as scars or sclera, sclerosis in park it's also called as. <clears throat> they can be of different types, they can, can be clinical isolated syndrome, relapsing remitting MS, primary progressive MS and secondary progressive MS. Typically in um, MS you can see this is the normal nerve and in, in MS this is a demyelinating kind of nerves that happen. The myelin nerve gets scarred <clears throat> and it is very very common now and there are actually to be totally honest there is no clear cut cause for this uh, that any research has been able to find out but somehow we have been able to see some kind of stress connected to this kind of disorder somewhere in most of these kind of disorders stress has a very strong role to play because that's the only thing that kind of stimulates this kind of disorder <clears throat> um, pathophysiology is something that most of us know about there can be very varied symptoms very often there can be optic symptoms central symptoms speech symptoms throat symptoms musculoskeletal symptoms sensations bowels can be affected the urinary organs can be affected sometimes there can be no symptoms at all also the reflexes are affected it's a it's a very very multi-dimensional form of disorder and um, to be totally honest with you there are many many treatments available and homeopathy is a very strong option the advantage with homeopathic approach is that it can be taken along with the medicines that you are taking and also <clears throat> The other big advantage with homeopathy is, is that very often you can reduce the allopathy medicine and then keep the patient only on homeopathy. So this is a case I am going to tell you. A 43 year old lady came to see me in my clinic and she was unable to walk. She was putting on weight, diagnosed with MS, with many plaques. She couldn't walk on her own, was totally weak. She was, she was def having problems passing urine. Her her whole life has got affected a lot when i studied her case and in homeopathy we try to go in different areas of the case and try to understand and go to the depth we found that somewhere there was a lot of stress in her a lot of financial insecurity and a lot of feeling of being lonely alone a feeling of kind of not able to be independent a feeling of total financial and emotional dependency on her husband and somewhere down the line this was the main state throughout childhood where the state of lord of being lonely insecure was her main state so depending on this we i gave her the remedy uh, the remedy that i gave her was the remedy <coughs> kelly cup and uh, let me make you read a little bit from kelly cup kelly cup is a remedy from uh, mineral kingdom the main thing of kelly cup is vital fear and reactivity that is seen when person lack the support of family or group. The main symptom of Calicab is fear of being alone and the desire for company. Calicab I have given in 1M and then in LM potency and it's now one year actually now it's almost two years now that the treatment has gone and she has really improved a lot. She has written to me her testimonial also. She is able to walk on her own. Her gait has improved. She is able to go to her office. Her lifestyle has changed. She is able to manage her life on her own emotionally the feeling of insecurity has really gone and she's able to live a normal life and um, to be honest with you she has not taken a single allopathic medication i also have cases where the patient had to have a lot of uh, steroids and allopathic medicines and along with homeopathy and they have done well so we have different types of cases homeopathy is a fantastic science in this kind of disorders you can write to me to know more about it or you can find a good homeopath in your area and give the history to them